I met this guy for five seconds and I already hate him. We just saw Alistair in his demon form. You know it's bad when Angel and Vaggie are on the same side. <laughs> You named your pig fat nuggets, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, what's up peeps? Welcome back for another video. Today I have for you Has Been Hotel Season 1 Episode 2 Radio Killed the Video Star. Now, people have told me that this episode will introduce a fan favorite antagonist named Vox. Now, I have heard a lot about Vox. Actually, that's kind of a lie. I've only heard a little bit. <laughs> But in terms of a character that I've never seen before, I have, in my mind, heard a lot. He sounds like a very interesting character, so I really am excited to meet him. Other than that, I know absolutely nothing else about this episode, so I'm actually really happy about that. I love it when things aren't really spoiled, so I... Uh, it's amazing that I haven't gotten any spoilers yet. But speaking of Has Been Hotel so far, I am really enjoying the show. I know we've only watched one episode, plus the pilot, which is was confirmed canon. Um, by the last episode, uh, cause it referenced the pilot being a week before episode one. But yeah, I'm actually really enjoying it so far, so I kind of just want to get into it. If you guys like this video and like what you see, or you just find yourself coming back on the regular, please do like and subscribe, it would really help out a lot. And remember guys, if you want to see this full length reaction as well as early access to videos, a private Patreon Discord, movie requests, and a whole bunch of other goodies, then go down to the Patreon link down below. But let's go ahead and start. Has Been Hotel, I almost said Amphibia for some reason. Let's start Has Been Hotel, Season 1, Episode 2, Radio Killed the Video Star. Hey. By the way, it said Vivienne Madrano is, I, I think that is how you pronounce her name, but she's killing it so far. The show is a masterpiece so far. Yes. Sure. And now, ain't no silver lining this time, toots. Please tell me that is not the same Valentino that was in the Addict video. Can we read these messages? So get that flat bunny ass to the studio, baby. As you can see, the ideas are flowing. Haha, <laughs> so it's been 30 seconds. Don't be like this, baby. This is cute little and I'm so bored of this little cat and mouse chase. For real over it, fuck. Wow! Oh my god, he's a flip back and forth. He's one of those people that will insult you and then five seconds later be like, Oh, I didn't mean it. And then five seconds later, you fucking ass. And... Please tell me this is not the same Valentino. Well, while you're looking, the rest of hell is going nuts. People are already freaking out about the news. Look at what's happening in the Doomsday District. My boss, the hell is just freaked out about the news, too. Like I said, everyone's losing their shit. Yeah, that's true. Sinners are desperate. Maybe desperate enough to try anything to escape the hotel. Yep. Well, it's not like people are just going to show up on our doorstep. That's exactly what's gonna happen. This fucking guy. So Alex is playing this guy too. Not only is he playing Adam, but he's also playing Serpentius. I mean, he's a great voice actor and actor in general, so. Oh, the almighty V's will finally acknowledge me as their equal. Ooh. Wait, who are the V's? Oh, nobody important. The V's. New Vox Tech designer voyeur scopes. Oh, are we going to see Vox? I'm actually kind of excited to see him. Trust us. <laughs> trust us. Trust us. Now that's good television. Ooh, so you're a TV. Whatever could be the problem, my dear. Your little boy toy is wrecking my department. How are you drinking through... You know what? 
I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna finish that question. Damn it, Valentino! <sighs> oh, yeah, and here I go, Valentino. Just another fucking day with Val. <laughs> hey, 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 fuck my life. <laughs> I kind of like him. <laughs> Why do I kind of like him? Oh my god, I'm getting Hunter flashbacks. Why do I like this guy? He seems like a dick, but I don't know. He's kind of enjoyable to me so far. We are pleased to announce Vox Tech Angelic Security is coming soon. Trust us with your safety. <laughs> oh, you hypnotize people. Uh, when did we begin working on Angelic Security? 30 seconds ago. <laughs> I have a fire to put out upstairs. Oh, you travel by electrical currents. That's a cool ass ability. Oh, it looks like you have everything under control here. Of course I do. Fuck you. Now, shoo. Take care of the piss baby. I don't like her. Fucking finally. <laughs> oh, it's the same Valentino. I know I've already said this, but yes, I have seen the Addict music video, and ever since then, I've just had a burning hole of hatred for this character. And knowing that the... Well, I'm not sure if the Addict video is actually canon. We'll see. We know the pilot's canon, but I'm not too sure about the Addict uh, video. I met this guy for five seconds, and I already hate him. Angel quit? No! He didn't fucking quit! It's worse! He moved! He thinks he can just walk in here, work, and then go home somewhere else? Listen, Valentino, I don't know how long you've been alive, not just in human form, but also in sinner form. Is Valentino a sinner? I don't know. But it seems like you've been alive for a very, very long time. So let me inform you on something. He has a fucking life. Any other fucking person has a life outside of work. Literally, he's not even been on screen for a whole minute. And he's already like the most hated character in my opinion. In my opinion, I hate his character the most. And he's barely been on fucking screen for a minute. Can you fucking believe that? He thinks he can run off and shack up with Lucifer's bimbo daughter. Wow! Not only are you talking trash about Angel Dust, you're also talking trash about Charlie! Two of my favorite characters. And everyone's practically my favorite character in the hotel, but that's two people that you have now trash talked. That I adore to bits. You're not going over there. That slippery twink is going to remember who owns him. I'm gonna- Oh my god. This guy's pathetic. What a pathetic piece of shit. Okay, I like him even more now. <laughs> I like Vox even more now. He's clearly a fucking villain. He's clearly got the asshole personality, but at least he has some fucking common sense. Unlike this uh, asshole. Like, clearly Vox is a bad guy. He's clearly, like, not a good person. But he's already having his moments of being somewhat decent. I'm already getting the like the hint that maybe Vox will turn out to be, I wouldn't say a good guy, but maybe like middle of the road, like chaotic neutral. Um, like, I don't know, maybe like Loki or um, Loki is like the only example that I can think of right now. But I hope you guys know what I mean, like middle of the road, you know, does good things here and there, but also does bad things here and there. And 
you know, he's not on a definite side. He's just more independent. I feel like that that's the kind of vibe that I'm getting right now. And after having him for a few minutes now, I'm kind of hoping that we learn more about him and that he does become like a big character. Valentino, optional. You know, Angel isn't the only one spending time at this ratty hotel with the Devil's Princesa. The radio demon is there. Ooh! <laughs> Did you just say? That was a reaction and a half. And he is with Lucifer's daughter. And that wasn't the first fucking thing you told me! Hey, Killing Alistair is your king. Ooh. Ooh, they got beef. Ooh. Ooh, so Alistair and Vox. Ooh, okay. I'm excited about this now. Alistair's fucking insane. I mean, he kind of asked for that. Hey, sweet Oh my god, Angel. See? Look at how he flirts with that guy, and he's not even paying! Shut up! There's always one character in every show that you just despise to the max. Valentino is this character for me 100%. And Gravity Falls, it's Robbie. And Amphibia, it's Anne. Valentino takes the cake for the most hated character for me. And for regarding what I've seen on the channel. Valentino takes the cake as probably the number one most hated character character um and i don't think i'm gonna be offending anyone by saying that um because this guy is an absolute fucking i, I don't want to say too much of a bad word to get the video taken down Ooh, okay yeah i thought he was gone for good too it's been seven years seven e wait isn't that when charlie lost contact with her mom oh no no alistair didn't have anything to do with her disappearance did he Oh, the dots connect. Oh, shit. I think Alistair did have something to do with Lilith's disappearance. Please don't tell me that Alistair, like, killed her or something. Oh, that maybe that is something that he would do. It does seem like the dots connect between Alistair being gone for seven years and then Lilith being absent seven years ago. No one's had contact with Lilith since. Oh no. I, I think real I think Alistair did do something. I'm so sorry, but the someone's flying a fucking plane or some shit. Let's begin. I'm gonna make you wish that I'd stayed gone. Tune on in when I'm done. Your status quo will know its race is run. Oh, this will be fun. Holy shit! Fuck. We just saw Alistair in his demon form. I'm not even sure if that's like his full on demon form. It seems like he's because he's extremely powerful. So the power powerful. I am flabbergasted. 
there's some th we did get to see like a little bit of his like for for like a true form i need to take a breather <laughs> holy shit that was awesome dude this is like 10 times better than the first episode oh wow i need to go back and look at this Oh, he's got antlers. Oh, the stitching. Holy shit. That's awesome. <laughs> That's fucking sick. Holy shit. No, th there's got to be like another like powerful form that he has. It seems like he really held back on his true form. But what we got there, that was fucking cool. Holy shit, I'm so excited to see more of this Alistair and Vox feud. We have a problem. Alistair is getting close to Little Princess Morningstar, so our main concern now is ensuring that no deal is ever struck between Lucifer's brat and that smiling freak. <gasps> oh my god, new theory. What if... Alistair left seven years to go to make a deal with Lilith and then Lilith refused Resulting in Alistair getting mad and killing Lilith and now that he's met Charlie He he saw Charlie's ad on the news station figured she'd be easy enough to trick just because of how uh, I wouldn't I, I feel bad for saying this but Charlie seems a little bit naive and so I feel like he's picked up on that and I feel like he's taking note of that as she's easy to trick into a deal. I think in the pilot, that's why he tried to make a deal with her in the handshake. I feel like he's trying to gain Charlie's trust in order to make a deal with Alistair, being that Charlie is a descendant of royalty. I think Alistair's plan B is Charlie. Whatever deal he wants to make... I think that he killed Lilith over it because Lilith re Lilith refused. And now he's back to manipulate Charlie into making that same deal, whatever Alistair may want. That is my new theory is that Alistair is playing Charlie because he wants to make a deal that Lilith refused to make. Therefore resulting in Alistair killing Lilith because the dots connect. His disappearance and her disappearance both connect. And it seems like Alistair knows a lot more about Charlie than he is letting on. So, that is my new theory. Is it the fucking... Is it the Petrus guy? Why, hello, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> I love Baggy. You know it's bad when Angel and Vaggy are on the same side. <laughs> or like agreeing. <laughs> That's when you know it's bad. <laughs> I guess he's not much of a threat without the war machine. Mm. Or even with the war machine. <laughs> I love Vaggy. Oh shit. <laughs> that was fucking ruthless. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit, I love Vaggy so much, dude. I love everyone so much. This is the bar and the bartender. Husk is just kind of in the background so far. I wish we got to see more of him. I really do want to learn about Husk because he's a very like mysterious character. And I do want to know more about Husk. I'm, I'm just hoping that we get to do that soon. You know, explore his character a little bit. So excited to have our first real guest. Uh, what the hell am I then? Well, you're an important part of our family here, Angel. But you, um, uh... Constantly make us look bad, sexually harass the staff, and have literally never once tried to improve? What she means is okay, it's she's just nice to have someone interested for once. Oh, oh, 
Oh, I don't like that. I don't like when Angel's sad. That's got me sad now. I don't like it when Angel's upset. Dude, we actually got to see him like, he actually does feel really bad. The bad boy is back. Never leave me again. <laughs> <laughs> She's a fucking psychopath. Sir Pinches? <laughs> ah, yes. You're the one who ruined my coat. I definitely remember you now. Yeah, that's probably a bad thing. You really don't want to be on Alistair's bad side. Please forgive me for attacking you and ruining your very lovely coat. Um, yeah. Oh, not many people have been able to take even this much off me. It Ooh. must have meant quite a lot to you. Um, just not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna let the episode play. Everyone, follow me. My name is Charlie. I like to sing. And oh, Veggie's so in love with her. Oh my god, it's so adorable. It's so cute, guys. They're so cute. I will repeat myself time and time again. I'm. J I just feel like I'm watching two reactors that I am a fan of. You guys probably know who I'm talking about, but. Th th this is just them in animated form. Charlie and Veggie are literally the fucking cutest. I feel like it, they're not as cute as like Lumity, but I just feel like that's because uh, they haven't had much screen time being a couple. My name is Charlie. I like to sing. Oh. <laughs> I am too sober for this. Well, get used to it and learn how to play. This is going to be your whole day. <laughs> Charlie. I I'm going to bed. Oh, I don't like Angel upset. Also, I would like to I, I was going to pause regardless because I feel like Pinches is actually having fun with this. It does seem like he's like authentically having a good time. I think by the end of the episode, he'll like be honest and be like, "Yeah, I was kind of like a spy, but now I actually kind of like it here." I hope that he'll do that. Because I'm actually starting to enjoy his character a little bit. Oh, this is fucking nasty. You actually think you can change? Attic trash like you doesn't change. <laughs> I'll see you soon, baby. Oh my god, okay. Oh, that's fucking sickening. For anyone who receives me messages from someone you know like that, it's probably best, best to avoid whoever that person is. I've never had the experience like this before, which is a good thing. I don't know about anybody else if one of you has had this kind of experience, I am so fucking sorry. That's absolutely disgusting. And Valentino has shot up on my list of most hated characters ever. Not now, Fat Nuggets. <laughs> you named your pig Fat Nuggets? What the fuck? Is Angel gonna find out about Pentius being a- Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, bug. Oh! <laughs> Fuck him up, Angel. Get your aggressively average body off of me! Fuck! 
Oh, he's got hypnotizing powers, just like Vox. What's going on? <laughs> Bedhead Charlie. Also, oh no, are they gonna like fucking do, oh, they're gonna do the fucking cliche, cliche trope of they're gonna blame Angel because it looks so bad. Okay, thank God they're not gonna do that fucking cliche ass bullshit. Thank God. Okay, I can chill out now because I thought they were gonna. I actually hate episodes that do that, or movies that do that, or pretty much any moment that does that. And do us a favor if they don't kill you, go ahead and do it yourself, you miserable failure. I. I. Just make it quick, I guess. Oh. Not that I deserve it. Gladly. Oh. <laughs> I was sad. But of course, Maggie. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> okay. Alright. Fucking Maggie. First off, not only does Charlie and Vaggie and everybody else know that Vox and Velvet and Valentino are onto them and trying to sabotage them. So you kind of gave yourself away, Vox. So now they, they know that. Also, don't ever tell someone to do that. As someone who has survived <laughs> thoughts and even came very close to attempting <laughs> you don't ever tell someone to do that. That's why that's an immediate red flag for me. Somebody tells you to, I can't say it in a YouTube video, but you guys know what I'm getting at if somebody tells you to do that that's a very extreme red flag to me and i had friends uh back then about like a year ago something like that who would say that sometimes to me and um let's just say that those friends are no longer my friends and i am very happy about that because that group was very toxic and um, I actually have good friends with me now. Yeah, do not ever tell somebody to do that because you never know what somebody is going through. And who knows, when you say that, that might push someone over the edge and then that blood will be on your hands. Do not ever tell someone to do that. It starts with sorry. Here we go, another song. Jesus! Shoot him and spill his blood. That's an option you could choose. It works for us. Oh shit, guys! <laughs> so dramatic. Oh, hello. Adam? Is that Adam? That looks like Adam. Um, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with Nifty? But also, I, I do feel like uh, Sir Prentice will be a more like involved character now. I feel like he'll be one of the best characters now. Uh, and I'm really hoping that he gets a lot more development because he's really interesting. So, I hope that we get more Prentice later on. What? You'll have to try harder than that next time, old pal. <sighs> <laughs> okay, never mind. It was Alistair. Okay. Oh, that was good. That was so good. I enjoyed that a lot. All right, that'll do for Has Been Hotel Season 1, Episode 2, Radio Killed the Video Star. That was really, really fucking good. We got introduced to a few more characters. Uh, Vox, who I actually kind of weirdly enjoy... Uh, up until that last scene with Pentius. I don't know if I'll like him again, but he was kind of enjoyable at first. 
Am I, is, is that normal to anybody else or am I just fucking weird? We learned that he has a feud or like a, some beef with Alistair. Um, and I'm excited to see where that goes. Two very, very powerful characters and I'm very excited to see them beef it out. We also got to see Serpentius for the first time uh, in this show. Well, besides the pilot, but that's not really like the show you know yes it's kit you know what i mean but we got to see Pentius for the first time and he's a pretty interesting character he was just kind of like his normal self from the pilot in the beginning but towards the end he actually got a little bit a little bit of a growth in the beginning he was just kind of like his normal self from the pilot but towards like the end of the video he got himself a nice little growth and so i i'm really excited to see where his character goes we got to see uh, Charlie really like involve in like the rehabilitating people and we got to see Angel who was um, like kind of sad during this episode. I really don't like seeing Angel sad. He was he was mainly sad because of fucking Valentino by which by the way speaking of fucking Valentino. Can we just get rid of his character, like, altogether? I have had my fair share of Valentino for one lifetime. I know he's not gonna go away, but holy shit, that was... He's just difficult to deal with. We didn't really get to see Adam, um, or the other girl. I don't know her name. I don't really care about them, honestly. But we didn't get to see them, which is kind of worrying, because, uh, they're doing something kind of sketchy because you know somebody killed the angel we still don't know who did but yeah they're taking some pretty big measures in terms of moving up the extermination but i think that's all i have to talk about if you guys like this video and you like what you saw or just find yourself coming back on the regular please do like and subscribe it really help out a lot and remember guys if you want to see this full length reaction as well as early access to content movie requests a private patreon discord server and many more things then go down to the patreon link down below but i hope you all enjoyed this reaction thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to you guys later